fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Hey, let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Ah! Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself. Open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. Always rely on boy. Real good. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <coughs> oh. Oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. 
Now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Keep going. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance to hook... ...and something big, like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got something biting, Arthur. You hooked him! Got a bite. There we go. Damn it, I lost him. You're getting the hang of this. Got one. Not bad. That feels like a bite. Got one. Shit. Got away. Hey, Jose. Do you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge and... Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of St. Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Ha! Got ya! Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains we saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Nice, you hooked him. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. 
Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. You got a bite. Well done. Deep in that one, eh? Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Nicely done, Arthur. That'll grill up nice. Got a nibble there, Arthur. That's on the hook, Arthur. <gasps> Not bad, Arthur. Yeah, that's a keeper. Not real in me, Arthur. Good job, Arthur. Holding out for a bigger one, are you? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. 
Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um. All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I, I wish to God I'd have passed her by. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Tater got burned and so did I. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners to come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round around? Shall we go dance this round and round around? Hey, that is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round and round, round. We care not for those martial men that do our state's disdain. But we care for the merchantmen who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round of round of round of round of round of round of round. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know. We should not let the folks back in think we had too much fun. Indeed not. All right. I think I... I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Mr. Matthews, you should have been a No, thank you. I like to eat fish, not swim with them. You know, one time, just off the horn, a giant whale stalked us for months. The same thing happened to me just south of Milwaukee, only I don't like to talk about it. I have nasty memories, though. You're not a kind man. <laughs> I'm not fooled. That a course was that. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. You know, Jenny. Sure. Me too. I know you were sweet on it. Might as well keep the reserves as full as we can. Sorry, yeah.